Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I hope you're all doing well today. We're going to play with some glassine envelopes and these are in uh, the description box below this video. Um, there's a link because I get them off of Amazon. <clears throat> they measure six and a half by almost four and a half. It's, it's, a, it's what, one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. <laughs> All right, so, and they are, let's see, on the thing it says you get a bundle of 100. They're number eight glassine envelopes. And I would just use different sizes, but these are the only ones I have, so we're going to cut them. And the first cut will be at three and a half. I actually don't need to cut them because I already cut them. But um, the smallest one is three and a half, so it's opened right there from cutting it. You want your flap at the back when you cut it so that you can put them on the page um, with the flap at the back, unless you want the flap at the front. So just whichever way you want them, put them on um, your cutter that direction, either this way or this way. All right, the next one is, I can't remember because I was playing around, uh, three and three quarters. And the last one is cut at four and a quarter, okay? So we're going to take those because I'm not doing any coffee dyeing on this journal. And I'm putting my little tray. And I, because I still want them to kind of get that. Uh, let's see. see, like here's one that's been coffee dyed and it gets all wrinkly and just feels cool. <laughs> so I kind of want that effect still. Oh, I was going to ink them first. So I am going to ink them up a little bit just to give them a little bit of that aged look so yeah I hope you guys are having an awesome day we're gonna run to the university and uh, drop off my daughter's bike they have a place uh, where they can keep their bikes on campus it's a like a bike barn I guess and um, so they're locked up there at night and then she can use it when she's there during the day and then take it back to the bike barn because the garage that she parks in, she can't have her bike rack on top of her car and get into the garage. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to go do that today and pick up some supplies she needs. So she'll be all set on Monday. So that'll be good. And that, see, I just dripped one drop of water there and already it's changed that glassine bag. So I was mixing up some spray and I'm just using the mica powder like you know I've done before um, I'll tell you how I did it in just a minute if you're new so I'm just gonna get this kind of inked probably should have done this ahead I was just thinking I was almost did the whole thing ahead you know on my own but then I thought well maybe somebody will want to know how to do it so I decided I should turn on the camera so yeah it's kind of crazy that it's already like I keep saying I know but time for school to start weather here today is really weird we're, I think we're getting a lot of smoke from the uh, fires in California if you live in California, I'm so sorry. You guys have a heck of a time with fires. Well, I lived in Nevada for a lot of years, and we always had fires, too. It's just this time of year is no, no good in dry places. Oh, did I rip it? I don't think I ripped it. I think I just tweaked it. <laughs> just be that much more aged. You have to be kind of careful with glassing bags because even when you coffee dye them, they stick together and I'm not sure why, but they do. And this doesn't have to be totally perfect inking because, you know, like I said, we're going to spray it. So I actually want to spray a bigger one of these instead of just the scraps. And these are just big square doilies, and I think I got them at like um, 
Zurchers or whatever it's called. It's just a party supply place. So if you have a party supply place in your area, they probably have maybe not these exact ones, but they'll probably have something similar. Um, and these ones are Naprons, Doilies, I don't know, doesn't give you a whole lot of information. M's can. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, just look wherever there's doilies and you'll probably be able to find similar type things. So I'm going to just put this on the bottom. And then we're going to take this, which is um, three or four pipettes of rubbing alcohol. And then um, two spoonfuls of, it's these little spoonfuls, not big spoonfuls, of mica powder. And this one is flamingo pink. And then uh, some water and some glue, like, you know, a matte medium or some type of liquid glue that you'll be able to, you know, shake up. And then I just put a little water, just a little bit, to just give you a little more volume. That's all the water's for. I don't even think you have to put the water, but it just gives me a little more. And just make sure, if you let it set, to shake it again when you use it, because that mica powder settles. Sorry, I'm just, I can see there's glue right along here. I was trying to get some of that off the side of the jar. And then I just have this plastic lid off of a, I think it was a baking dish of some kind. And I never use the lid, so I use it much more for dyeing paper than anything else. Well, especially now. That's <laughs> all it gets used for. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and spritz these as well. This will definitely be, I don't want to get too close um, to that top part because I don't want to glue it together. So and I have no idea how these are going to come out. I'm hoping it will work. It'll, it'll change the texture no matter what, so that's cool. And these uh, glassine envelopes do not have a sticky flap, so it's not like that's what would make them stick together. They just kind of stick together for some reason. And the same thing with the glassine bags I've discovered. So you kind of got to play with them a little bit. Um, just to make sure when they're drying that they don't stick. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm gonna let them dry and then I'll come back and show you where we're at. Okay, so I got them all dyed and they're very crispy, crunchy. And this one I messed up, so I've got a piece of paper stuck here. Um, if you're going to do these with the glue, the same technique, I would uh, recommend like using a hair dryer or a heat gun or something like that, that um, you can stand there and monitor, you know, if they're sticking together in the middle or whatever. So yeah, um, just keep an eye on them for sure because they will stick together because you're spraying glue on them. So what we're going to do is they're still open on the side and they all work. We're going to take, um, I can cover that so I'm not worried about it. But we're going to take the flap from the bag and hook it around the side of the page so that it'll open like this. And then it'll open at the top so that you can have tag or whatever in it. And we can um, close this up right here with some paper or something to decorate it. But I'm not going to cover these bags entirely because obviously the whole point was to have them, you know, colored like this. But they came out really good with just the ink and the uh, spray. And I did use a little bit of the white too, so that gave it the white mica powder. Um, so that gave it a little bit lighter pink color because the flamingo pink on its own is, you know, fairly bright. Anyway, so let's get those flaps glued down on there. And then on the other side of this paper, I'll probably add like a ruffle or something like that to uh, cover up these flaps because obviously they're not, you know, super pretty. And if you're using um, different types of envelopes, like regular paper envelopes, you could um, make them little pockets on the other side if you wanted to do that. It's just these are kind of 
floppy, so I really kind of want to make sure they get down, glued down well. Just trying to line it up a little bit here. And you want at least just a tiny gap so that they open and close easily. And then we just want to get them down really well. You'll see that they almost disappear on that page there. That actually is kind of a cool effect, but I'll probably be putting a ruffle or something on that side. Okay, so that one's there. So we have our opening at the top. Just make sure you glue them so that your opening's at the top, otherwise you'll have openings at the bottom, which aren't very helpful. Okay, this one, the medium size one next. them to have fairly equal spacing. Try to do it some, sort of like in the middle of the next envelope. Maybe just a little bit more, but you can. Okay. And the last one, my opening of this. Yep, I'm <laughs> just checking my openings because that would be me to totally glue it upside down. <laughs> you guys have witnessed it. So, I mean, everybody's been working loads with envelopes and doing all kinds of flappity flap things. So, this probably isn't really novel. It's just that it's kind of what I was thinking after watching Gail do her bags. Those bags, for some reason, made me think of this <laughs> that she was working with yesterday. So as you can see, I've got a little space at the top of this one, but I'm really not worried about it. So the one thing we are going to have to do, well, when we close this with something, that'll glue your pocket closed. So let's kind of work on this side first, because I think that that will be an easier side to deal with at the moment. And this is just paper from my old Love Notes Digi. And I might even just like use some book page, just kind of all different stuff to, but I don't want to cover the whole thing. Like I don't want it um, entirely covered because that was the point of doing it this way. Gotta be careful of these that they don't glue to each other. Okay, so you're gonna have to take whatever you're using and bring it all the way down the envelope. So I'm just going to kind of, I don't want it to have a perfectly straight tear. And this is all trial and error because I have not done one of these. So just a piece, you know, about like that. That way your envelope will just have that opening and not just be like that. And you could just run some glue along there, but um, I just want to decorate it a little bit. So, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I hope everybody's healthy. I guess there's um, something like 18 of the teachers in our school district have come down with COVID. <laughs> it's like, what timing? Like, they go all those months without it. And then we're supposed to start school next week, which I guess we still are. I haven't heard that we're not, but I just mean, and everybody gets sick. That's just, it's horrible. So I hope they're all okay. 
It's just been crazy. So I just did a little glue along the back that'll glue here and then the glue that will meet this part of the envelope. I'm trying to leave this part of the envelope open so that, you know, you've got a little more room in there. Like that. And then just maybe some book page and just a little something. I don't want it to be like, you know, loads of stuff. Maybe one of these. These are um, from Medieval Mirage. And just like postage stamps. And they're in her new bouquet of um, Elegant Eras. If I could ever remember the names of stuff, it would help, huh? But I'll have a link in the description box, too, to make sure. I think this is the add-on with the postage stamps. I'm cutting fairly close because I don't want a ton of black on there. Okay. We're kind of going to do the same thing on the front, just some small, like maybe clustered type areas of decoration. Because, I, like I said, I just don't want to cover up all that. Plus, you'll be able to see whatever you put in there through the uh, glassine. So, that's the fun part, right? Yeah, you could put ephemera in these, um, tags, journaling cards, whatever you like. It's like a piece of paper. Oh, it was a piece of the black. I thought it was a piece of hair, but it wasn't. So just a little something like that on the back. I don't think it needs more than that because like I said, I want to see through those. All right, so let's do the next one. We could use something different. Oh, the uh, doily came out really neat as well, I think. So I like that. Let's use a piece of Chaff's Roses. This is Medieval Mirage. And we're gonna do a pointy area. Could even use one of those like clusters on the front that we did yesterday. Those were super fun. I had a blast making those. Oh no I don't want to do that. I almost glued the whole thing shut. <laughs> Still a little on the sides. So I hope you guys checked out Lori's channel if you don't usually watch it. She has some great stuff. And if you like, like Shabby, um, she's really good at that. I might just leave that one like that because I love those roses. They're so pretty. Healing paint. Let's do it this way. Come 
can pour that too much there, but I think it's fine. I just did it. You guys saw me, but I didn't stick it down, so that was good. I'll save it for something else. Ay, ay, ay. Let's try that again. I don't know why I struggle with that. Every time I do one of these envelope projects, it's like my brain just cannot get with it enough to not do that. Well, I can tear this better this time. Did I get it too long? Yes, it's too long, of course. There we go. I know you're yelling, but I, I heard you. Heard you yelling. I had somebody say that, I can't even remember what it was yesterday that I did, and you know, it was a mistake and fixed it, and um, I just did it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. She said it's good to know that, you know, like, we're not perfect or whatever, <laughs> or infallible. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I am the furthest thing in the world from infallible, so. <laughs> I think I make mistakes daily on this stuff. I do better when I'm not filming, but something about filming, and I've decided it's the talking, because I, I apparently can't talk and create at the same time. <sighs> Try this, see <laughs> if that'll work. Oh, wow. The brain, I'm telling you. Does its own little deal when it goes on autopilot. Like we just glue the whole thing down, right? There's a little word that's stuck there. It's crazy. Looks kind of cool though. From the book. This one I'm just gonna get rid of, I think. It's just a little tiny piece. Okay. So let's see, what do we want to put on there? Maybe one of these. These are Graphics Fairy. And I did print them bigger, so I have bigger versions too. Um, like this is Graphics Fairy. And that's their premium website. kind of her. <laughs> it's very, you guys are always awesome though. I know we all do stuff like that because it's just, you get it going and not really paying attention. I think I'm going to come up here and cover up this. There's some writing right there. From when I took it off the book after trying to glue it entirely. Yeah, I don't know many of us that can do it with no mistakes. I mean, I'm sure there are some, but I am not one. All right. So I need to put something across the top of this one since I've got that paper stuck to it like a dingling. Use some music paper. Dreaming Hearts Company, and 
even if I don't say it, I um, usually try to list a shop, but if I don't, just let me know. I'll let you know what it is. punch some thumb holes in the tops of these so that we can see so we know where the pocket is. Okay, this one I can glue entirely. Buy <laughs> it. something else to that as well. Kind of fun to add a rose to this one. Let me see if I close these. Yeah, I guess you're going to lose a lot of that, so I probably don't want the rose on that one. Something a little bit smaller, maybe. color. And maybe one of these stamps again for the ladies. I kind of like this one. This is how I end up covered in ink because I get it all over my fingers and everything. like that. Okay, and then I think we will, and we could add to this one, which is just like maybe one of these little price tags, just so that we've got continuity between, you know, those clusters that we did and And these other parts of the journal. Yeah, I like that. I could add just a little bit of like cheesecloth here. This is from Vintage Polka Dot Shop. She does some very nice um, coffee dyed fabrics and stuff. So yeah. Thatcher. Yeah. <laughs> Rick's moving around behind it. Okay, and then we'll just glue that down. Let's use tech glue for that. Make sure I get some on the staple there. I'm using quite a bit because I definitely with the fabric and everything, I want it to stick down. Okay. 
pick up any glue that comes out by doing it that way. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's see, where did I put? Oh, these might all just be too huge, huh? From yesterday. Yeah, they're pretty big. I was thinking I could use one, but they're going to be too big. We could make our another sort of littler one. Where's that other? Just tore that <laughs> person. It was too close to the edge. Ah, stuck to my fingers. Lace back here. Turn it this way. It's all going to be there or this side. Maybe this side would be better. I don't want them all on the same side because that, um, you know, adds to your bulk. See the people in the little car there. Okay, let's glue this little guy down. This one. I like putting staples in these for some reason, these um, price tag things, so. Go ahead and attach that together. I like the stitching too, but can't really stitch through these with the whole envelope thing. I mean, you could do it before you put them on the envelopes. But. That's getting glued down. Well, so that one's good. Like, oh, rolling over. And make it roll over. <laughs> Put a little more under here so it's not catching on things. Didn't put any glue on that, really, to speak of. Okay. 
Okay. There's that one. And this one. Definitely put a rose on that one. I feel like this, because we did it at the top, it just needs something at the bottom. Maybe just like a rose down here or something. I would like a pink one. There's one. Let's see. Let's see who this space is. Now it can just take a minute for it to all come together. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and trim the bottom off of this one. Just trim the um, doily. So I'm just going to basically come in here with the glue stick. Get that. And hope that I got enough of it. Yeah, that'll work. off whatever is hanging over and we're not going to have time to stuff these today I don't think but they can be stuffed with all sorts of fun things I'm just gonna let that hang over and then I'll trim it here Yes, I did. <laughs> I was trying to cut too close to the edge there. It's okay, I can fix that. It's another day of disasters. Line. Some numbers. And maybe a little bit of the peeling wood, peeling paint wood. I need to print them out again. I've used most of them up. They're just fun. Maybe this little guy. Four for ten. Four roses for ten dollars. 
that would be kind of expensive. That's more, I think. I don't know. I never buy flowers. <laughs> so I really, I guess I wouldn't know. Okay, so I think what I might do is take a little brad and go through that. I have all these from my scrapbooking days still hanging around. I don't know if you guys did scrapbooking, but um, if you did, you'll know what I'm talking about. But you could buy huge packs of stuff <laughs> for really cheap and I don't know why but I ended up with a million of those little guys and hardly used any it's crazy like those paper flowers they used to be so cheap and you get big old packs of all different ones and now you get like I don't know, they're almost a dollar each. It's kind of crazy how that's all changed. I mean, I know, you know, that was a long time ago, that's why, but just still crazy. Okay. I'm gonna glue out, well, let's see. First, I think I want to do the staple. I'm going to do it kind of like that, if I want it exactly like that. Or not the staple, the brad is what I'm trying to say. I think I better kind of glue these a little bit together first, or they'll fall apart right at the moment I need them not to. I'm just going to be, well, I'll use my pokey tool, I guess. I don't have a crocodile, so where is it? I just need the start of a hole because it'll go through just fine. believe so many of our teachers got sick. <sighs> I just hope that they can, they're spread out enough across the school district that it, they'll be able to start without it being a problem like for one school or something. Because that would be a nightmare. One of our um, teachers at our school did get it, but I haven't heard of any others at the, well, the school I used to work at. Um, any others there, so I'm hoping I have shoes okay. She's one of the parents that was at our band camp last week, and I guess there was somebody who had, one of the students did have um, corona, but I don't think she was there, but that could have been where she got it, I have no idea. all kind of been crazy. And so I'm 
sometimes you got to do that when you're cutting something thinner, you know, um, with the, well, that punch just stinks, but it just doesn't like cutting something thin. Or put another piece of paper under it, and it'll cut it better, which is what I think I'll do for this. Scrap paper. Yeah, if you just put this is just a piece of mineral file folder, but some kind of paper in behind, then it cuts better. And it might have been easier to just go through both layers, but we're going to see what we can do here. It's not going to be perfect, that's for sure. Let's see. I don't think we got the last one great either. What we should probably do is figure out where the last one went. <laughs> A good way to do it would be to um, put them all together <laughs> and do it before you glue them into the whatever book or whatever. See, that works a lot better. Okay. And this one will work because it's already got that. Just kind of guesstimating here. Okay. All righty. There we have it. I was going to glue it down, and then I was like, oh, I kind of like it folded over. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. What do I see? A little closer. And then that one. I really like that. I think that is super fun. So then, um, there's my symmetry. That's near the front of this first one. I think I did. So it'll actually be the back back here. But that looks really cool, I think. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. But you could totally just do stuff like, you know, Maybe not that one in the top. That one would, at the top would probably be better for um, like a journaling card so that it fits down inside of there and then you could just have some fabric coming out the top, which is probably what I'll end up doing. And then like, you know, one of those in there, just so you can see them. But you could also just put, you know, some um, ephemera in them. Or like I have these from there go. Those are from Draining Heart Company.
this one's wide on the back, so I would probably end up, you know, covering that over. And but I just wanted to give the idea. So you could just do all different things in those pockets. So anyway, I hope you guys liked that. I hope that was a, a fun thing to make, and I hope you try it. I will chat with you again soon. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye now.